hello friends and welcome to my educational youtube video channel in this channel we are going to describe some technical points in the field of engineering today's discussion we will see the introduction to plastics which may be required to the plastic engineering subject or polymer science subject for the engineering now in this today's lecture we will discuss some points regarding introduction to plastic such as introduction classification of plastic properties of plastics next points we will discuss in the next subsequent lectures so subscribe to my channel to get new videos regarding this plastic introduction to plastic or plastic engineering subject so let us start with introduction of plastic now this word plastic is derived from greek word plastikos which means ability to be molded in any required shape so you are knowing that plasticity property it is nothing but we can change the shape of the subject in any required in any required shape isn't it that is nothing but a plasticos in greek that means a plastic these are the synthetic organic polymers having high molecular mass so in general we can say that these polymers are long chain monomers long chain monomers and what is monomer the monomer is a smaller molecule that are used to prepare the polymers that are used to prepare the polymers for example i have shown here one diagram or long chain of a polyethylene polyethylene is a polymer which is made up of a monomer ethane ethane nothing but a c2h4 if n number of such c2h4 molecules or monomers are linked together we will get a polymer called as a polyethylene such n number of example you can code such as a pvc polyvinyl chloride again polyamide so such n number of examples you can code so polymers are a large class of material consisting of a many small molecules called as monomers that can be linked together to form a long chain thus they are known as macromolecules yes we can say these polymers as a macromolecules because they are long chain long chain of monomer the polymers occur naturally in the form of proteins cellulose star natural rubber now these polymers generally occur in nature are called as natural polymers and the polymers which are derived in laboratory are called as a synthetic polymer generally engineering polymers are usually synthetic polymers now examples for this natural and synthetic polymers are for natural starch resin cellulose protein etc are the common day to day examples your hairs or leaves of a plant are the example of a natural polymer some synthetic polymers are nylon teflon polyethylene pvc terlin cotton are the examples of a synthetic polymer which are derived in the laboratory now next we will see the classification of plastic plastics are broadly classified into two groups these are thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics first we will see what are the thermoplastic plastics those plastics which can be easily softened again and again by heating are called as thermoplastics the major difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic is thermoplastic materials can be recycled again and again but thermosetting plastics cannot be recycled again and again it is why because these both both are the long chain long chain polymers made up of a monomer but this long chain in case of thermoplastic material is bonded by weak van der waal forces whereas in case of thermosetting plastic material these are bonded by a strong covalent bond that's why after heating thermoplastic material softens after cooling these soft thermoplastic materials get hardened that's why we can cool them we can heat them we can cool them we can heat them 
and recycle again and again for thermoplastic material. Whereas in case of thermosetting, there is strong covalent bond. That's why after heating, they will just get burned. They will not soften. This is the major difference. Next, they can be in case of thermoplastic, they can be reprocessed safely. They remain their plasticity at high temperatures. They preserve an ability to be repeatedly formed by heat and pressure. They, therefore, they can be heated and reshaped by pressure by pressing many times. On cooling, they become hard. Same thing I have told previously. They are sometimes called as a cold setting plastics as well thermoplastic material examples of thermoplastic material polyethylene polyamide polyacetyl polypropylene polystyrene pvc poly sorry polycarbonate such a n number of example you can tell which can be recycled again and again such examples you can say pvc next thermosetting plastics those plastics which are hardened by heat resulting a non-reversible chemical change are called as thermosetting plastics which cannot be recycled again and again same thing i have told previously also next uh, alternately these plastics materials acquire permanent shape when heated and and press and thus they can be easily softened by reheating they cannot be easily softened by reheating they are commonly known as heat setting plastics for example, urea formaldehyde, phenol formaldehyde, polyester resin, epoxy resin, silicon resin are the examples of thermosetting plastics. This example you can see of, are of thermosetting plastics. A comparison, if you want to see the comparison between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic, you can observe that the linkages or bonding between thermoplastic is weak water wall forces. Whereas in case of thermosetting plastic, the bonding is strong covalent bond that's why first difference bond we can quote it is it is it is prepared by addition polymerization it is prepared by condensation polymerization thermoplastic material are made up of addition remember this thing because these things we are going to study in next subsequent lectures what is addition polymerization what is condensation polymerization but for this lecture just remember that Thermoplastic materials are made by addition and thermosetting plastics are made by condensation polymerization. Second, it consists of a linear long chain polymers. It consists of three dimensional network structure. In the diagram, you can observe that. Next, polymer chains are held together by weak water wall forces. In case of thermosetting, polymer chains are linked by strong covalent bonds. In the case of thermoplastic, they soft they are soft, weak and less brittle, whereas thermosettings are hard, strong and more brittle. Thermoplastics, after heating they get soft, after cooling they get hard, but thermosetting plastic after heating they doesn't get softened. Next, thermoplastic can be remolded, thermosetting plastic cannot be remolded. Thermoplastics, low molecular weight, thermosetting plastic, high molecular weight big difference low molecular weight high molecular weight next they are soluble in organic solvent thermosetting plastic are insoluble in organic solvent examples for thermoplastic polyethylene polyvinyl chloride polystyrene examples of thermosetting plastics bakelite polyester urea formaldehyde such n number of examples you can quote and one thing remember that thermoplastic materials can be recycled that's why in the scrap we can give such a materials which can be recycled in scrap thermosetting plastic material are not taken isn't it so in next subsequent lectures we will study the properties of plastic testing methods of plastics and again what is polymerization then types of polymerization reactions addition condensation so subscribe my channel and enjoy the videos. Thank you.